Welcome to the uh, WRD shop. My name is Jimmy T and uh, I'm just going to walk you through a piece of my inspection sheet which you all get and we usually properly fill it out for you. So So, we're rock and roll. Take a look at your fillet, winter's coming. Usually it's hot, so it's a little hard to open this up, but we can do that today because this one's a little cold. So let's just take it up to the line and we're just gonna check and see how well protected this vehicle is for winter time. It says right there, you're good to minus 45. The other thing we do is check for the air filter to see how clean that is, which is under here. Just go here. Look at that, you can put it up towards the light. You see how much light comes through that, but that's pretty clean, so that one's good. So the next thing we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll make sure all your lights are working, which is also part of the service. So I'll turn the lights on, we'll do a walk around, check them. We usually do that as we're lifting it, you know, we'll have the lights on. As we're getting ready to lift the car, we're walking around checking our lift points, Oops. and we'll look at the lights that way. Sometimes we'll catch a reflection in a window and we'll check them there too, so look. Okay, up we go. It's gonna be a lot of noise. I usually like to check the tire pressure or the, the depth. So we have this little gauge here, we put that on your tread. Then we take a reading, so that's like 12, 30 seconds. Yeah. And that's what we write down on your uh, piece of mind inspection sheet. The other thing we do over here is we'll give the tire a shake. And this one's got a noise in it, so it's got a tie rod. I'm reckoning it's got play in it. So, good thing we have an assistant. Hey, JJ, can you wiggle this tire, please? So we check the outer tie rod. Do you see that? And that one's pretty solid. So what we do is we'll tug on the inside one and it kind of goes away. So the inside tie rod is the one that has the play in it. Okay. Thank you, JJ. The other thing we do when we're down here is we take a look at, you know, make sure there's no exhaust leaks, any oil leaks, any coolant leaks. Shield. That's your tranny pants. We look around there, make sure we don't see any leaks and any exhaust leaks. Looks like we get a clamp here that might be leaking a little bit. Yeah, check the coolant leaks on the water pump. You don't see any. Looks pretty good. And any leaks on the radiator. So basically, we're just looking to see if we see any leaks. Any leaks in the shocks. Those are your shocks. We check them to see if they're wet, if they're nice and dry, so there's no problems there. And we also check the rotors. And these rotors are getting a little plugged, as you can see in the ribs. So this rotor won't cool properly. And it's a little rusty, a little old. So it's probably a good idea to change those rotors. The other thing we look at is the contact area of the pad. And as you can see on the inside of this, I'm not sure if you can see this. See the inside. See, that's the surface that your pad rides on, but you also have this edge here that it's riding on, so you're losing braking efficiency. So sometimes we can machine that, you know, when they call for machining and give you a new surface and the rotor's okay, but sometimes when it's deep, like this one, you can't, so you might have to replace the rotor. That has quite a bit of like rust and stuff on the surface, so the braking efficiency of that somewhat be reduced. 
would probably be a good idea to machine that. And depending on how much brake percentage you have left, might be really from you know your rear pads and rotors. So here we're at six mil on the outside, and we're gonna check the inside pad here. Sometimes the inside pad will wear more because the piston pushes on that inside pad, pull the caliper over. So that one's a little tighter, so that's a five. So it's getting pretty close to uh, the Indian front, you know, the rear pads and the rotors machine. So we would advise our advisor to contact you and, uh, and recommend the service. Okay. <laughs>